O.C. Clock Shop, where your time is important. One day you get lucky and find the one of your dreams. And that you're not too... Okay, after getting the uh, parts out of the uh, cleaner, I noticed that everywhere that it needed bushings, the pivots wore. This is not good. If you can see right there, look at that. It should be straight. So that needs that's going to need to be, have a pivot repair. And same thing with this one here, as you can see, it's going to need a pivot repair too. So what I have to do is I have to cut them off. I have to drill inside of the pivot and then put a new piece of wire to match up with the size of the bushing. It'll be quite entailed. I'll go ahead and make that, and then we'll go ahead and reassemble this, and we'll, we'll go ahead and show you how to do the pivot repair at a later date. I really wanted you to see a close-up of the, the wear on this pivot here. Watch this. See the hole, the actual bushing hole, it wore out about uh, let's say this much but then the shaft wore out and dug a hole right through it now that it definitely stopped this clock gears started getting too far away from each other and they weren't meshing right and they were losing power it's amazing there's four of them on this clock all right okay so there's that pivot. I'm going to go ahead and clip off the end of it. Then I'm going to um, make sure that the uh, it's nice and flat. Then I'll drill a little center point in it. And then I'll go ahead and drill it out to get ready to put my pivot wire in. So I'm going to clip off that pivot. All okay. Right. Now that I've clipped that off, I'll go ahead and start to to file the end of this flat and get rid of the remaining excess of the old pivot. You're going to want to do this slowly. Take your time so that you don't take too much off. When you get a flat, that'll be good enough for you to find Use your center drill punch, not drill punch, but to get your center. All right, that looks good. Now I'm going to, this is my little, forget what you call this here, but it's going to start a little teeny hole on there so then I can get the right size drill and then take it from there. It's a centering bit here. So what I'll do is I'll just give it back here a little bit of pressure. Gonna go ahead and lock this in place now. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't move. And then I'll go ahead and get my that that's perfect all right now I'm gonna find the appropriate drill bit for that that'll fit my pivot wire and we'll take it from there okay once you find the appropriate size drill you go ahead and start drilling take your time you're gonna drill it in there 
deep enough that you'll be able to get your new pivot in there. Okay. Just take your time. Just check and make sure it's going in the center. And keep drilling until you get the acquired depth that you need. I'm going to put just a drop of oil on, on the end of the pivot here. Give it a little lubrication. Last thing you don't want to do is break that drill off in the end of it. Okay. I'm going to check my depth right now. Get in there. A little bit at a time. We can go in and a little more depth about actually repairing a pivot. But right now, I'm mainly trying to get this done rather than explaining it. But I hope this is giving you a pretty good idea of how to do this. Get in here. One more little drop of oil here. Okay. This should be the final plunge. Pull this out of here now. Okay, let's see here. Here we go. There's the hole I made for the new pivot wire. All right, let's get her put in. Okay, pounded that pivot wire in there. There you go, I got the pivot in there. I'm gonna go ahead and file that down to the appropriate length that I like to see. I'm just using a coarse file right now. Okay, I'll just get it smooth it down a little bit. It's getting there. It's getting there. Okay, I'm gonna go back up here where it seats right here. Oh yeah. Looking good. Well, I do like that a lot. Come get a little stone in here and Really smooth this thing out. Okay. Now for my finest file. Man, that thing's looking good. All right, now I'll repeat that with the other three. Okay, that's what it looks like with the new pivot inserted. I'll show you what it looked like before. After.
Okay, I was mentioning to you earlier when, when we dissembled the clock. Um, I like to keep all my strike gears over here and all my time gears over here. So when I'm putting the bushings in, I'll, you know, I won't have to go through all the gears. Just, you know, I like to keep things organized, basically. Uh, for you who saw my last video uh, about bushing a clock and put bushings in a clock, uh, you'll know how to already do the bushings. I'm not going to, you know, record how to do the bushings this time. I'm just going to go ahead and do it, and then I'll be back with you when uh, it comes time for reassembly. I've got uh, probably six bushings I have to replace right now, and if you're not sure about replacing bushings, go ahead and see my last video. Okay, great. I'm going to get started. So what we're going to do here is we're going to find the uh, the true center on here. We're going to go ahead and do one bushing here. I'll show you on one of them. Uh, but we'll, what we've determined by looking with my glass here is that the uh, the true hole is actually towards the bottom here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it right in here. And this is a centering tool right here on the bushing machine. And you push her down in there. It goes, it finds the true center. Okay, once you got it into place there, nice and snug, then you go ahead and you tighten your clamp down here. So that when you're doing the bushing, that's perfect. Okay, so then you take your centering thing out. And then you find the reamer that fits the bushing. I've already located the bushing. The bushing is right here. I made sure that it was the appropriate size by laying it right here on top of it. It is. Now I'll go ahead and insert this reamer in. And then we'll start to ring the hole out. Getting a little closer for you. Okay, then you go ahead and proceed to ream it. Take your time. Okay. There you go. You can see the hole now. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put in your little hammer, which is your little anvil to bring it down. You want to line up your bushing. the bushing and now you have the bushing inserted into the plate ready for a beautiful pivot okay one of the things you always want to make sure you're going to do is you're going to peg the holes all your pivot holes you want to peg with a toothpick Okay, because that's really the true test to get all the dirt out. Even though you've had it into the cleaners and stuff, mainly you want to just get that toothpick or just any kind of wooden peg and just really, really, really just get these super clean so there's no more dirt when you assemble this. And this is the true test to make sure it's really clean. So don't forget to peg 
all your holes and your pivot holes. Okay, we're getting ready for reassembly now. Okay, so I finished pegging all the holes. Okay, I inspected all the pivots on every gear to make sure that they were smooth and they weren't like the old gear that I had to put new pivots on. And now we're ready for re reassembly of the clock. I'll go ahead and, and I'll do a dry run on putting all these together. Put all the gears in, make sure that they're turning smooth. If everything looks good, I'll go ahead and get the springs ready and then we'll get it together. All right. Got a really weird glare going on in here today. Uh, anyways, basically setting all my gears in here and things are looking good. Okay, when it comes to oiling up the spring, I, I do it the old fashioned way. You can do it many different ways. Okay, one way is uh, put submersing it into, like when I'm doing a lot of clocks, depending on what, you know, what I got going on, I'll get a tray and I'll fill it with oil. But if I'm only going to be doing one or two clocks, I'll just oil it up by hand, throw some in there, uh, just, you know, put some oil on it and it's a it's a dirty job really it's not the greatest thing but you oil it up and then you go ahead and uh, move the spring around and get oil all over it basically you want a nice you want a really nice even coat on it so it takes a little finessing Could wear gloves because, as you know, petroleum is not good for your hands whatsoever. So this is the old-fashioned way. Just a nice thin coat on everything. Like I said, if you're doing a lot of clocks, you'll want to get yourself a little tray and uh, fill it with oil, and you can just soak these in it and then let them drip. much as I can. Turn it over, do the same thing. Pushing the spring out. Now if you got soft hands you'll cut them because these springs can tend to be sharp but basically that's good on that one. And uh, now I'll do the other one. Okay so what I'm going to do here is I have the winding arbor for the time side okay so I'm going to take my time spring which I did mark my springs to make sure I got them right and this is my time spring here okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the spring exactly like it goes Okay, and then we're going to go over to the spring winder and I'll show you how to wind the spring back around here and then we're putting our retaining clamp on the spring. All right, with our Webster spring winder, okay, what we're going to do is get the retaining clamp out, get that in place. All right, now we're going to go the way the spring's going to wind. And then here's this loop end holder again, okay? What we're going to do is put the loop end in the holder, all right? And what we're going to do is we're slowly going to wind this Webster spring winder. Okay, as you notice this time we're actually using our winding arbor gear hub because we're going to just put it right back on here okay so remember this thing could fly off at any time most people will use gloves to make sure you got your safety goggles on like I do just keep winding it up 
until it gets to the appropriate size that you can get your see there we go you kick this back the other way and now you start to unwind it slowly letting the spring release itself into the clamp I know it's really hard to see from here There you go. Now the spring. Just keep going slowly until there's no pressure. Okay. Now that's that. You unwind this here. And now it's ready to reinstall with the clamp on it. Okay, I'll do the other. Hold on tight. It's getting tough now When I look into your eyes My heart just lets go When life takes me away from And the nights, they're getting colder 